Hello and welcome to the TGIF Network. My name is Andy, G7LRR, and today we're going to be talking about user security and what's the advantages and how do we use it. So we're uh, establishing that you've already uh, made an account with TGIF and that you are logged in onto the, uh, onto the website. Okay, so you see the menu across the top, but in the top right hand corner, you will see your call sign. You hit your call sign, you'll see a drop down menu, and we're going to go to user security. Okay, in user security, what we are seeing here, we are seeing our DMR ID that we would have registered at radioid.net, and we're seeing something called a hotspot security key. Now, if you had multiple DMR IDs that if you registered under your call sign, these would also display uh, underneath here. You would have more than one. And they would all have a unique uh, hotspot security key. So each individual DMR ID will have uh, a unique security key. Okay, so for this video, we're going to display presume that we've only got one DMR ID but we want to connect to hotspots how do we uh, how do we go about this and uh, what's the correct way of doing it but first of all I'm going to should tell you explain the uh, incorrect way and the way you shouldn't do it and the reasons why so let's say for instance that we want to put two hotspots on the network and We've logged on and we've seen, oh, we've got a DMR ID and we've got a security key. No problem. So we put the DMR ID in both hotspots and the same security key in both hotspots. What would happen? Well, whichever hotspot did the handshaking first on the network would be the one that connected. The second hotspot that tried to handshake on the network using that same ID as the original would not be able to connect it would just not connect at all so basically uh, this is to stop looping and uh, and other problems that could be uh, could be caused by this so how do we get around this what's the correct way to connect two hotspots onto the TDIF network well we use something that's called an ESSID and this can be a value between a 00 and 99 well, what's this mean all it means, it's very simple, we just append two digits to the end of your DMR ID. So on here, I would have 2340192, and if I had one hotspot, I could just put like put 01. You don't have to start at 01, you could start at 11 or whatever you wish, as long as it's two digits anywhere from 01 to uh, 99, um, there wouldn't be a problem. So you could have 1122 and 99 if you had three hotspots. So let's just simplify this. So I'm going to show you a demonstration here where I've got two hotspots correctly configured and logged on to the network. So how have I done this? How have I accomplished this? So let's go to the first one. So we go to the first hotspot and you'll see here that my DMR ID this is my DMR ID, which we see, which we see here, sorry about that, which we see here, it's my DMR ID, and on the hotspot, it's there, but at the end, I've appended 01, so I've given it an ESSID, an extended uh, ID, so a suffix of 01 is being appended to the end of this. But if you look, I'm using the same security code as what I've used in both hotspots. Okay, now go to the second hotspot and you'll see I've got the same DMR ID up to there, but I've appended the 02. But once again, I'm using the same, exactly the same server password or security key okay let's go back to here so let's just go over this briefly so what does this mean what does this allow us to do well if you had a legacy connection which is just using uh, 
like a connection with the password which you can log into the server so you could just use like your default password in your hotspot which you're using on the old TGSR on the legacy server or on, on let's say Brandmeister if you had a password on there we would call this a legacy one because it's not our password not our security hotspot security key that we would be using so what would what would happen you could still connect but you may not be able to get in certain talk groups and you certainly won't be able to see yourself probably on last head and and things or it would be actually greyed out on on, on last head so um What's the reason for this? Well, this is so that talk group admins can have a little bit of control of who connects to their talk group and if it's a secure uh, connection or not. So talk group admins are allowed, uh, each talk group admin has control, complete control over his talk group and he can select if he wants everyone to have a secure connection into his talk group or if he'll allow insecure uh, legacy connections, all at discretion of the talk group admins. Uh, the main admins for TGIF and the developers have no uh, no control over this as such. It's all down to the talk group admins. So please look at the uh, talk group admins uh, profile page, which you can find from the talk group and just click the link there and you'll find the um, who the trustee is, like the talk group, have that talk group, you can email them and ask them if they require you to have a, uh, a hotspot security key uh, in. I think most talk group admins probably will do, but uh, it's at the discretion of them. Okay, if you need any further help on this subject or, or, or connecting your hotspot, you can, uh, you can always go to our forum page where you'll find a, a wealth of information of how to connect and how to connect to the TGI's network, how to configure your hotspot, etc. I won't be going into videos on configuring the hotspot, just on the functionality of the website. Failing that, you could, you could uh, if you have Discord or download Discord, make an account, you could register and connect to our Discord server where you'll find lots of people online all, all the time and a wealth of information. Or failing that, you could use the support uh, email of your individual talk group admin, which can be found on their profile page of their talk group. We'll have their email address email, or if you require, require further help, you could also go to the administration team, the support team on the TGIF network, and our email is support at tgif.network. That's support at tgif.network. So let's just have a little quick recap before we go. So you would log in your account, you would go to your call sign, use the security, and to configure your hotspot correctly, uh, if, you, if you had multiple ones, you would append uh, an SSID from 01 to uh, up to 99 and for everyone you do you use the same key okay if you have multiple DMR IDs then obviously you could have one DMR ID this and this password and then you could have the next DMR ID and the security key that that one is using that isn't a problem hope you uh, understand this video like I say any problems then ask your uh, talk group admin is probably your first place to call or failing that support at tgif.network. Thank you very much for watching the video.